Hi, hello sir. Azam Chawa. So you are the general manager of the Palestinian Commercial Bank. I'm going to ask you a few questions about several topics uh, about economics and how is the situation going in Palestine. And for you. My pleasure. Welcome to Palestine. Welcome to PCV. I hope you have a good stay and a good report also. Thanks. Good. <laughs> uh, so at first, how would you describe briefly like the economic situation here in Palestine? I would I would say from from the way I see it mm -hmm. and also the, the numbers on, on Palestine, uh, Palestine is, is is always had a rough time in the economy because of the continuous continuity of the political changes and the and the, and the disputes with our neighboring countries Israel and uh, that's really uh, make it difficult to, to to have a stable or strong economy. But on the other hand, this is given us all who are in the, respon in the responsible positions, the CEOs of the company or the GMs uh, of banks, uh, is to continue working week by week. I would not say a month by month. But, uh, we do have we do have we do have a, uh, a numbers that we are targeting on a monthly basis. Mm -hmm. it's, it's what we call in our. Uh, they call it uh, budget, yeah. and uh, most of us are, are maintaining to, to meet the target and, and the budgets, but it's not easy to do so, uh, and plus every, every three months, every quarter of the year, what we do is we review our, uh, our numbers and compare it to the target. Sometimes we need to change because a drop in the economy will happen, so in a way, in a way, that, uh, yeah, yeah, in a way that we can continue uh, working on it, but being careful and not to do any jumps or, or, fall, or falls. Uh, from, the, from one other side, it's also the continuity of the payroll of the government to, the, uh, to, their, to their staff. I think that's making also an effort to help in part of the economy, where, where it's uh, this, a lot of the people are relying on, uh, on these uh, payrolls, even though payrolls does not make the uh, economy, but at least it does help in, uh, in generating some kind of uh, income and uh, to cover uh, most of their expenses. And that's on the small level, meaning it's the, the money circle between the small markets, supermarket, the mm. butchers, uh, Okay. And, and uh, the current environment, would you say it's encouraging for the investors, investments as well? If you look at our our companies that are public, are popular in, this, in the stock markets, mm -hmm. look at their numbers. It's stable. Mm -hmm. It's uh, there is no really a big jumps in growing, okay. but there is a stability. There is a stability in uh, in growing in growth. I would say I would say in Palestine we have really. A lot of uh, uh, solid ground, uh, solid uh, ground for uh, investing, and most most of the shareholders of the, of the big companies and banks it's coming from abroad. Even though it's Palestinians who live in the diaspora, mm -hmm. but still it's a lot of money that's come from abroad. Okay. Like if you if you go to the regular, the private companies and the private business, it's mostly it's a local investment. Okay. And uh, in the on, on these two levels. You will see that there is always a, a continuous continuity of, uh, of investing in Palestine. So that's why we try every once in a while to go outside Palestine, a group of, of, of us who are CEOs of banks and uh, financial institutions to promote Palestine, and we tell them come, come and invest with us. Don't, it's not we want a charity. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we want a real investment, and, yes, and we can show the reality that. We, yeah, of course, there is obstacles. Of course, there is risk, but uh, we see the risk that is as a challenge mm -hmm. to minimize the risk and to increase the business, whatever kind of business. And uh, what are the main countries investing in Palestine? Is there like specific countries where the investors are more likely to? Invest? There is a lot of investment, by the way, coming from Europe, okay. from different maybe countries under Europe, but but it comes from Europe, uh, from. Uh, uh, and I would say in a lot of the Arab countries also mm -hmm. there is a lot of private uh, investments. It's not only the governments that mm -hmm. are giving support to Palestine. 
plus you have, uh, I would say you have uh, uh, places like uh, Central America, there is a lot of who are living there, there. they have a lot of uh, continuity and uh, uh, a lot of investments that are in Pakistan. Okay. Okay, uh, now I'm going to jump to another, another question. Uh, I read that in 2014, the profits of the 17th Palestinian banks together reached a total of one fi uh, 100, 500 million millions of dollars. 105 millions of dollars. Okay. Uh, it's great. You know that? It yeah. is comparing, I think comparing to this uh, small economy and in, uh, that's why I said, well, I, I, I do always, we encourage investors to come uh -huh. to Palestine. There is a good, good opportunity, but we're, remember, we're not Europe, we're not... Yeah, we're, of course, but it's we're, still... We're, we're, we're small, we're small size economy anyway, but beside the risk. That, that state, that state uh, makes the banking sector one of the most important and the most profitable of the yes, Palestinian true. economy. So you know, well, do you I, I, I would say that uh, the year 2000 till 2005, maybe end of five, beginning of six, we, we had a collapse in the economy mm -hmm. year, and part of the collapse was the banking sector. And that that really uh, there was a restructure for most of the banks and um, a lot of the financial companies, but in particular banks. We, we went we went to the extreme of. Uh, uh, risk measurements and we implemented all different uh, rules and uh, procedures that will 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 profit will uh, will will prevent collapsing. Fine, we, we uh, and we went into a different strategy mm -hmm. because what we want in Palestine, we want a long term relation and economy, not a short term with a with a higher uh, profit. So that's why a lot of after that, 2007 and till today, you will see, if you look at the scale of all the numbers, you will see that the scale is, uh, is moving forward in, in terms of assets and liabilities, in terms of profitability, in terms of expanding. Uh, if it's you're talking about banks, we're expanding in most of the areas of Palestine. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, even even though we, some, we, we, have, we, receive, we have a rough time uh, conducting our, our business in Gaza because of the closure of our Gaza, but still, even even in Gaza, we have a good portion that's are moving forward. But of course, uh, for us, it's, it's the, the, most of the business is uh, from our branches in the West Bank. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so you just mentioned the past ten years that uh, you successfully strengthened yes, the course. banking yes. sector in Palestine. We implemented Basel one and two and three. So that's beneath underneath that umbrella. All, the, all these different uh, 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 guidelines and uh, that really helps you to, to to adopt. If you adopt it, it helps you to to have a more less risky business in, uh, under the banking sector. And so, to to what extent do you think that the crisis in Europe of the, ba the the banking crisis in Europe impacted or not the Palestinian banking sector? Not at all. No, not at all. Even when they remember the crisis in the U.S., we did not get affected because the the cautious and the and the measures that we are taking. Mm -hmm. I think it was it was as I said it was to the ex it was a, a, we went to the extreme, but mm -hmm. really this is protecting yeah, us yeah, from yeah. from collapsing. Unless there is a really big big uh, changes in the political arena, who knows? But let's hope not. Okay. Uh, so let's talk about now uh, Israel a bit. Uh, what are the relations between Palestinian and Israeli banks? Like, of course, uh, we have, we have, we have. Yes, uh, under Oslo Agreement, there was this banking arrangement that uh, we we bank with Israel through some of the. That's not mm -hmm. all the banks. There, there are uh, certain banks that are our correspondents in, to, in Israel. And we have an accounts with them, and most of the trade between Israel and Palestine, the money that it covers the bills, it comes through the banking sector. There is the clearing house for the checks and for the transfers. Also, also we have a lot of uh, uh, deposits accounts, in, but mostly in, in the shekel currency. 
and uh, also the uh, what we did what we did is we tried to avoid as much as possible the political disputes with Israel, uh, so it will not affect the day-to-day -day business life. And we succeeded so far is to maintain that that relation, even though sometimes banks in Israel they look at us that we are a, a risky area, and you know, they try to switch. Uh, but so far, so good, I would say. But given that you, you, the Palestinian state doesn't have its own currency in use actually, like currently, um, are you obliged, the bank, are the banks obliged to link with Israeli banks or like is there and mandatory? And, 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 no, it's, uh, the shekel is mandatory because it's their currency. Mm -hmm. the, the euro and the, uh, the, the dollar and the GD, that's the, the other three currencies. Uh, we have mostly our we we have an accounts with the European banks for the euro, and uh, a lot of us, not all of us, have a, a U.S. dollar account with American banks, and we with the JD we invested in Jordan because it's their currency. Uh, and of course, of course, the, the dollars probably a lot of us will have a dollar account also in Israel because that's how it started the dollar and the shekel relation then. Uh, in that, that uh, more more correspondence in the international arena, open accounts to local and to, to banks who are banking in Palestine. But lately, they're not they're really strict and picky on opening accounts. And do you think that uh, the balance of power between the Israeli banks and the Palestinian banks is fair, or like given the political situation? Uh, no, it's not fair at all. Because at the end of the day, uh, they consider that they are stronger mm -hmm. and. Uh, Financially, maybe they are, so, they are more solid than the Palestinian banks, but at the end of the day, unfortunately, the, the board of the directors of the, some banks, they just uh, act uh, the way the government wants of Israel. Yeah. So that's really make it difficult on us, and we, we have uh, disputes over over issues. And every time that there is that there is a dispute, we will all try to push the politicians away from the banking sector because we are at the end of the day we have the responsibility of conducting the business in Palestine mm -hmm. and uh, we don't want to uh, fall into the trap of the political arena. I guess it's the same for you with the Palestinian Authority. Yes, the same thing. Okay. Yeah. We avoid, we're trying since since 94 the establishment of the, mm -hmm. the banking sector, we're trying at our best to stay as neutral as possible. And we don't want to, neither or not, or have been in it, or we don't want to fall into the trap of politicians. Even the disputes between Palestinians among themselves, mm -hmm. we, we always try to stay as neutral as possible because we implement rules, we, we, we follow the laws and the commands that comes from the umbrella of the banking sector that's headed by the PMA, Palestine Monetary Authority, which is acting on behalf of the Central Bank of Palestine since we don't have a central bank yet. And that's umbrella, it's 100% in, in neutral. neutral. And uh, every time somebody tried to push us, either the Israelis or the Palestinian government, we try to stay away as possible. And, uh, so the PMA has the right to manage all the banks? Yes, all the banks. Yes. Banks and uh, they manage also the, the small uh, lending uh, institutions. Okay. okay. Um, and so I I think I understood you are kind of optimistic for the future of Palestine. Oh yes, like I'm always long optimistic. How do you not, see? Not, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a dreamer. No, I'm a dreamer. But <laughs> the other, when it comes to, to business, I'm realistic. And, and but every day, if you don't believe of tomorrow, mm -hmm. you don't live in Palestine. That's that, that's for sure. And that's one thing. I grew up in Palestine. I went outside Palestine for education, mm -hmm. but came back and continue living in Palestine. And uh, I always see that we have a future, um, but maybe it's not our time, unfortunately, to have the full uh, authority, to have the, the, the control for the state of Palestine, but that's another story. And like, yeah, how do you see then the economic future of Palestine on the long term? I would term? say we'll, we have the responsibility of people like myself and all my colleagues who are in the financial uh, uh, market that we should always be careful, but look forward for tomorrow mm -hmm. and after tomorrow whatever and after tomorrow, whatever, whatever we can take is tough or, or we can take decisions when, if it's needed, 
if it's not needed, just to conduct business the way it is. And if it's a, if it's a problem over a checkpoint, over if it's a problem over uh, or, 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 or settlers issue, fine. We have to be upset, but we have to continue working uh, forward. We cannot pause. If we pause, it's a it's a lot of responsibility. Um, and so there is 17 banks in Palestine. Yes. yes. Uh, what is your unique feature that allows you to have a good competitiveness compared to the others, like rivals? Like? PCB is one of, is a, is a, mid, is a small medium sized bank mm -hmm. compared to the others. I think we have we have the quality of service that we have. Uh, we tr we spend a lot of uh, time and effort. Uh, to maintain a good quality of staff, so we don't have them. We, we cannot even lo uh, lose one customer, like maybe the bigger ones. Okay, you, are, so you don't allow. No, no, not yeah. at all. That's, <laughs> your yes, the yes, yes, exactly. That. So quality of service is, is number one. Also, we're trying uh, to come up with the, with the uh, products that meets the needs of the community. Mm -hmm. Since also the only choice we have is to work in Palestine we have, with our license, the Palestinian license that we get. At this time, it's only to work in Palestine, so meaning we have to strengthen ourselves, and uh, we're trying to expand as much as possible mm -hmm. within the uh, uh, Palestinian area. Okay, it's, it's not possible for now to expand to abroad. Not yet. Not yet. Hopefully, in the future we can. Maybe like in and so, what would be your plans of expansion? Mainly first, of course, we have to we have to try to go out to the to the Arab world and uh, at stage one, since we have a, there is a lot of Palestinians who are there and we're always gonna, uh, you know, in touch with us that we would love to have you, in, you know, close by so we can deal with you. Also, the, a lot of the Arabs really that they want to see an Palestinian uh, bank in in the Middle East. Uh, we receive a lot of a lot of invitations from from Europe. Um, but I think at this time we cannot be being realistic. And is it because of politics? We're, 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 it's political. It's not yes, yes. I think after we have the full solidarity and we have the full uh, uh, state of Palestine, it will give us more uh, more uh, yes. the ability to to expand. It will be then it's, it will not be a political decision. It will be, it'll be a financial decision and requirements. Mm -hmm. If, it's, if, you, if, the, if you can fill, fulfill the requirements of the country that you want to open a branch there or a representative office, then be fine. But hopefully, hopefully this will be soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your questions.